All right, let's talk about Ambulance, a movie I was excited to go and see because I'm not the biggest Michael Bay fan in the world, but Michael Bay tends to make just movies where I can turn my brain off, just watch stuff blow up and I could be basically entertained. I mean, with the exception of Transformers 4 and 5 and Pearl Harbor, which I hate, I basically like most of Michael Bay's movies. And seeing Jake Gyllenhaal and everything in the trailer, because while seeing directed by Michael Bay is a kind of a selling point for me, the biggest selling point of this movie to me was basically seeing Jake Gyllenhaal in the trailer because to me, Jake Gyllenhaal doesn't miss. He's basically great in everything he's in and I enjoyed my time with this movie. Let's talk about it. And one of the best aspects about this movie is the cast. You have Yaya abdul Madin, who plays a character called William in the movie and then you have Jake Gyllenhaal, who I was just talking about a second ago, who plays a character called Danny. Those two are brothers. And then you have Isaac Gonzalez, who plays an EMT named Cam and those are kind of the three characters that the trailer tries to sell us on. And I like all those actors so far. I especially like Isaac Gonzalez, especially in Baby Driver. And I ha I'm happy to say that really all three of them really mesh together really well. And one thing I was kind of interested to see going into this movie with the cast and everything is not only how like their dynamic was, which all of them did really great, uh, especially Jake Gyllenhaal. He's, he's really good at always yelling and getting like, oh, he's going to get in your face. He does the same thing in this movie. I was wondering how the tension was going to be because uh, based on the trailer, it seemed like a majority of the movie is basically going to take place in the ambulance. And it does. Now, before they get into the ambulance, the movie actually does a pretty good job leading up to all that point. Uh, kind of giving our characters backstory, both Danny and William, and kind of showing us uh, who they really are as the characters and what their motivations are. And that's what I like, is that th these aren't people with just absolutely no motivations. They aren't, it's not just like, okay, we're going to go rob a bank, but we don't know why we're going to rob a bank. Each character has a clear motivation. Even the EMT played by Isaac Gonzalez has her motivation to do wh what she does. We even get to know a little bit about her. So she's not just some damsel in distress hostage that you don't know anything about. She actually has a character arc as well in this movie, which I enjoyed. And as you see in the trailer, the robbery goes bad. They eventually have to get into an ambulance, and from there on out, the movie becomes really, really cool. And say what you want about Michael Bay, but what I really appreciate about Michael Bay is, and yes, I know the Transformers movies are kind of the opposite of this when it comes to some of the CGI, but when he, can, when he strays away from a lot of those Transformers movies, he likes to use a lot of practical effects, and that's what I really liked about Ambulance, is there's a few shots here and there where you can tell there's some CGI used, and there's one shot in particular where the CGI is not great, but it's over so quickly. It doesn't really bother you too much. I love the practical effects in this movie. I love the fact that when we're seeing cars tip over, blow up, we're seeing explosions happen, that it, you can tell it's not CGI. You can tell they actually went and did that stuff, and that, that puts more weight to the movie. Now, this movie does clock in at two hours and 14 minutes long, and the biggest detriment to this movie, to me, is the fact that it's too long. The movie probably could have been either a half an hour or, at the very least, 20 minutes shorter, okay? Uh, but I think a good half an hour could have been cut out, and this is why. While while the movie is, is really fun, and it's a fun ride to go on, what ends up happening is it starts to get kind of repetitive. Like they're in an ambulance, and they probably get there probably 30 minutes into the movie, right? And so they're there for quite a bit of the movie, and it starts to get to this repetitive action of the cops being like, pull over, you know, give us the hostages, and they're like, no, and then stuff starts to happen, and then the same thing happens again, and then it just kind of re rinses and repeats itself so many times to the point you're just like, you're sitting in your seat, and you're like, you know, I feel like some of the stuff could have been cut out, you're going to have your Michael Bay humor in this movie. You can definitely tell that there's probably scenes in this movie that weren't in the script or if they were in the script, Michael Bay went in and did his own dialogue. And some of them hit, you know, some of them are funny and other ones you're just like, yeah, I guess that's how Michael Bay is with his humor. You know, he's, he's hit and miss with it. And I just think that this movie really could have benefited from being a bit shorter. And I, because the movie really is a solid movie, but it could have been a great movie had they actually shaved some stuff off because the fact that it only remains a solid movie for me is because the pacing's off. It's it's too long and it's not it's not as tightly wound as it could have been. But the action is great. And listen, if you're going to go and see Ambulance, we all know you're, you're going to see it because you want to see a Michael Bay movie. You're not going to go and see Ambulance because you're expecting some great Oscar winning movie. So if you're going into Ambulance and all you really want is some good action, you know, some good maybe some good character chemistry, stuff like that, and a, a decent story, you're going to get that with Ambulance. Uh, you know, it's just what you're gonna get. It's not a, it's not a terrible Michael Bay movie at all. It's not. I'd say it's. If I had to like kind of rank it into his movies, I'd say maybe it's top six. You know, I'd, I'd still put movies like The Rock, Armageddon, the first Transformers, uh, and stuff like that. Maybe um, thir thirteen hours. I I put those movies above Ambulance, but Ambulance is better than a, a lot of his other movies. So. If you're looking forward to seeing Ambulance, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed as, as long as you're going into it with the right mindset of just wanting to watch uh, explosions. But like I said, could have been a half hour shorter and I think it would have been a much better movie otherwise. But anyway, that'll conclude my review. Definitely go and check out Ambulance. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you back in my next review.